Hey guys, so I know it's been a long week of finals and y'all are probably out in off season for sports, but as part of my sports med project, I'm showing you nine taping techniques that you can use if you get injured throughout your season or your Asian mom. Please enjoy. And just a disclaimer, there are many ways of doing these tapings. This is just the way I've been doing it, so please don't take points off Mr. Zhang. <laughs> So first, you want to have your athlete place her hand on the hip. Now, my friend Kaylin injured her elbow from doing acrobatics. So just pretend she's bending her elbow. And then you want to use elastic wrap, taping medially inward around her bicep twice. Pull the elastic wrap across her chest, going under the armpit and around the back. Then wrap medially around the athlete's bicep. Wrap around the chest again, make sure to cover the shoulder, and repeat until there is no more elastic wrap. When that is done, you would normally trace over the procedure with elastic tape, but unfortunately our school is too poor so we cannot do this. And then trace over the elastic tape with athletic tape like I am doing here so. First, you want to apply pre-wrap so it's about an inch and a half below and an inch and a half above the elbow and you want to do this in a circular motion. And then you want to create two anchors each on top and bottom of the pre-wrap. And then you want to create a fan by taking a strip and placing it right down the middle and then taking another strip and placing it diagonally and then place another strip diagonally so they all meet in the center and look like an X. Then you want to repeat this one more time. Then you want to secure it with two anchors to the top and bottom. When that's done, you basically want to create a sausage by wrapping the elastic bandage around the taped area to further immobilize the elbow. When that's done, you want to tape it off at the end with a little piece of elastic tape to keep it in place. First, you want to position the athlete's hand so the palm is facing upwards, and then apply pre-wrap starting at the wrist, and then bringing it up to the thumb and poking pre-wrap with the athlete's thumb or your thumb to make an opening for it to go through. Then you want to create two anchors at the forearm. And then you want to create two anchors at the top of the pre-wrap with one of them folding over the tape to prevent irritation when the thumb is mobile and then bring the rest of the tape around. Now you want to slightly extend the athlete's wrist and then you want to create those fans like I showed you earlier on the palm of the athlete's hand and you want to do this twice and then when that's done secure them tightly with C strips going all the way down so it covers the pre-wrap completely. <laughs> And then when you get to right below the palm, you want to stop doing the C-strips and start angling the tape so that it molds better to the hand. For the thumb taping, you want to apply pre-wrap to the middle slash lower forearm and then place anchors to the top and bottom of the pre-wrap and then create C-strips covering pre-wrap. And Now you want to take your tape and rip it in half vertically so it's narrower and then you want to wrap twice from medial to lateral around the thumb and then from lateral to medial. When that is done, you want to wrap another anchor to secure the thumb tape. First, you want to rip the tape in half so there are two half strips to wrap around the finger. And you want to hold the injured finger next to another finger together. 
and then wrap one at the base of the two fingers and then wrap the second strip closer to the top of the two fingers above the joint. Please excuse the ratchet videotaping, but anyways, the first thing you want to do is apply pre-wrap in a circular motion around the thigh from about 2 inches away from the knee up to the groin area, leaving 2 inches on top. Create two anchors each to the top and bottom of the pre-wrap. Place one strip each on the medial and lateral side connecting the top and bottom anchors. On the posterior side of the thigh, apply an oblique strip pulling from bottom medial anchor to the top lateral anchor. Next, apply an oblique strip pulling from the bottom lateral anchor to the top medial anchor. You want to repeat these steps while overlapping the oblique strips and covering more of the pre-wrap until all of the pre-wrap is covered. It should kind of look like a crisscross basket weave. And then you want to create two anchors at the top and bottom to secure. And when that is done, you want to secure another sausage with an elastic wrap and tape off the end. <laughs> Place the hip in an externally rotated position and use a heel lift or another roll of tape to lift the patient's heel off the ground with the foot slightly angled outward. Apply the elastic bandage by pulling the thigh in an externally rotated position and flexion and wrap it medially. And when that's done, cross it over to the hip and then back around. And then underneath the groin area, I know awkward, and then back around over to the hip and then back around and then that's where it will end so then you want to secure that with some tape. You want to use this athletic tape to trace around the same way as you did with the elastic bandage. First elevate the heel to bend the knee slightly and then apply pre-wrap above the knee in a downward circular motion to the under of the knee. Create two anchors each to the top and bottom of the pre-wrap. And then from the bottom medial anchor side of the knee, starting from the bottom, you want to tape curving under the patella crossing to the top lateral anchors. Then you want to repeat this except going from the bottom lateral to the top medial anchors. And then you want to finish securing the knee by taping from the top medial to the bottom lateral and then from the top lateral to bottom medial. And then you want to place a piece of tape from bottom anchor to top anchor on the medial and lateral side. And then you want to make sure to secure everything with two anchors to the top and two anchors to the bottom. And then the last taping, ankle taping. God bless your soul for hanging through all of this. But anyways, we're going to apply pre-wrap from the top of the Achilles heel, wrapping it twice around, then wrapping it down the foot once, including the heel, all the way to the middle of your arch. Now you want to create an anchor to the top and bottom, making sure you have two at the top. Create three stirrups starting from the medial side under the foot to the lateral side attached to the anchors. Then wrap C-strips all the way down, covering the pre-wrap until you get to the bottom of the foot. And when you get there, try to get a small strip of tape and cover the heel. Now we want to do two figure eights, starting by applying the tape from the medial malleolus, going under the patient's arch, back up around to the top of the foot, crossing over to the back of the Achilles heel, then ending where you started. Now we want to create two heel locks. Start on the medial malleolus, wrap circling around back of the heel, 
bring the tape over and back around the foot, then end where you started. And then you want to just cover everything with a bunch of C strips to make it nice and tidy. Thank you so much for watching. I know that was a total drag, so if you think Mr. Zhang should give me an A, please like this video and remember to comment and subscribe.